three guys were doing the same work. The first guy was asked, what are you doing? He says, what does it look like I'm doing? I'm, I'm laying bricks. You know, I'm laying bricks. And all he saw was the task at hand. He was doing something that clearly was a burden to him. Doing something he probably would rather not have been doing. Working at an environment that he probably wouldn't want to be in. The second guy, when I asked that question, he says, what I'm really doing is I'm feeding my family. Now he had connected beyond the point of just the task, beyond the job, I'm not just laying bricks, I'm feeding my family. And knowing that he had a greater purpose helped to ease the burden, it helped to relieve the pressure of work. But the third guy, when asked the same question, he says, I'm building a church. He looked around and saw that he connected to his, his highest purpose. He connected to the plan, the big picture. And when you connect to the big picture, the pressure is relieved because you know that what you do really matters. When we look at our work and we see the pressure of our work, and we only see the task, and we see the burden, and we feel the weight every day we go in, we feel the weight of having to do the same thing over and over. You're burdened by the pressure. But then there's others who see the privilege of their work. They may not aspire to do anything greater, but they, they're satisfied with where they are, but they see the privilege. It's a privilege to have a job, to work, to be able to provide for my family. That's a privilege. But ultimately the goal, the goal for everyone is to see the purpose of your work. Know that you're doing something that really, really matters. You're connecting to the highest purpose. And when you fulfill the highest purpose, that's the greatest thing that you can do. To know that what you do, what you do is part of something that is great. The guy that built that church, he could envision the fact that he wasn't just building a church. He was building the kingdom of God. And when he finished his work, he could look back with pride and say, My God, I built a church. And his children could pass by and say, my daddy built that church. Or his grandchildren, or great-grandchildren could say, my grandfather, my great-grandfather built that church. Autograph your work with excellence. You're part of a plan, part of a big picture. See the privilege in what you do. And in fact, rise up to the purpose. Know that what you do matters. Even greater, greater things are waiting for you. But you can't allow yourself to be burdened where you are.